Nice Calvin and Hobbes question here. So frame one, Calvin is saying, you know, I don't think math is a science. I think it's a religion. Hobbes is like, a religion? Calvin's like, yeah, all these equations are like miracles. You take two numbers and when you add them, it magically become one new number. No one can say how it happens. You either believe it or you don't. And Calvin's like, this whole book is full of things that have to be accepted on faith. It's a religion. Hobbes is like, yeah, and in the public schools, no less. Call a lawyer. And Calvin's like, as a math atheist, I should be excused from this. Okay, so that's the joke. Uh, probably just because he has got no cooking clue what's going on in math, so he's trying to find excuses to get out of it. So 4.1, refer to frame one. Uh, provide one indicator reflecting Hobbes' confusion. Uh, he's scratching his head. There's some kind of question mark being utilized there in the speech bubble. 4.2, how would Hobbes' tone change if a religion were to be written in a jagged speech bubble? Jagged speech bubble? So, you know, something like this. Now that would indicate that he's shocked, he's, he's flabbergasted or even surprised by Calvin's suggestion. So some kind of shock effect there. Uh, 4.3 refer to frames 1 and 3. So with very close reference to the verbal cues in these frames, uh, discuss the change in Calvin's viewpoint. So in frame one, Calvin, he tentatively proposes his theory to Hobbes that math is a religion. I think it's a religion. And in phase three, frame three, all of a sudden he's convinced by his own argument. And he asserts and even concludes that his argument uh, is, is correct using this affirmative, it's a religion, uh, which is further emphasized by the exclamation mark. Yeah, so you're just comparing uh, frames one and three here. 4.4. Critically discuss how humor is created in the final frame. Well, look, in the final frame here, in, in frame four, just look at the graphics, look at the text. Uh, feel free to even pause the video. So Hobbes is being sarcastic when he says, call a lawyer. And Calvin's real reason for the dramatic argument becomes rather apparent, and he simply does not want to study math. Hobbes reminds Calvin of the legal responsibilities of public schools to ensure learners' religious freedom. And Calvin believes that the same rights that are assigned to people who reject religious practices should be afforded to him in order to reject math. So he's like, yeah, I'm an atheist. Why should I have to learn this? You know, it's not part of my belief system, part of my religion. I'm not going to learn it. And that's it. He's making, you know, some kind of religious excuse to just get out of doing maths, probably because he's got no clue what's going on. And Calvin's very oversimplified argument here, which is further corroborated by Hobbes, uh, it does culminate in a, in a very humorous conclusion here. Now, uh, question 4.5. Provide the suffix required for the adjectival form of religion in frame 1. So, prefix goes before a word, uh, suffix after a word. Adjectival form. Um, so, how can we change the word religion? Uh, like a religion activity, uh, a religious activity. So, just add a I-O-U-S. And 4.6, give a suitable form... Uh, a, give a suitable synonym for lawyer. Uh, attorney. Legal practitioner, a solicitor, an advocate, a prosecutor. Uh, let's go with attorney. That's probably your best bet. Yeah, that's it. That's the question. Nice and easy.